under 40 CEOs drive your ambition. Brought to you by Mitsubishi. Michael Ugu, who describes himself as a hybrid London Lagosian, attended the University College London, where he backed his master's degree in economic development and subsequently the Lagos Business School and Harvard Business School. Starting his career as a business analyst at the Royal Bank of Scotland, Michael would later move to CBO Capital as an associate and eventually rise to the position of CEO of music streaming company, Iro King. Michael is currently the pioneer general manager for Sony Music Entertainment West Africa, one of the largest record labels in the world. All right, thanks for taking a ride with me, brother. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me, bro. All right. Uh, Mike, uh, tell me how you got started, you know, on this CEO journey of yours. Man, you know, I, 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 it's a long time ago now, you know, it's just, I've always been, I think, preparing myself for it. And um, I guess, you know, trying to lead where I can. And when the opportunity came to lead, um, you know, I kind of like took the ball with both horns. I think, you know, the first, first time um, I became the CEO um, about 10 years ago now um, in the tech space. It was, it was literally, you know, that kind of preparation meets opportunity um, type thing, getting into the music business, you know, having the right ideas uh, around how the business, where the business, where the industry was going to, you know, the digital nature of it. And, um, you know, a lot of passion, a lot of energy, um, a lot of strategic thinking, you know, and I think just right place, right time. All right, so I'm sure the journey must have been a bit jerky, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how did you get to the point of, you know, stabilizing enough and scaling? Um, I think where we kind of like started to turn the corner was when, you know, people really started to take an interest in, oh, actually, you know, music is such, you know, it, 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 it's so easy to consume. We're making great music, mm -hmm. you know, production qualities were getting better, videos were getting better. Um, you know, a lot of people out internationally were now shouting, you know, how, you know, what's going on in, in Africa. We had a lot of, you know, big guys doing great things early on. Debanj, you know, Mohit, Saudu, Chocolate City, you know, Biasaka, Storm, you know, you and the guys at Tribe, you know, the foundations were definitely there. And I think, you know, it's like when, when it really started to become, you know, interesting, probably in, you know, years, maybe like, maybe like five years, you know, eight years ago, um, when people start to really say, okay, there's a like the real commercial opportunity here okay. and there's real opportunity to scale. Um, so I think we're at the stage now where we're just putting in the foundations, but it, it is getting exciting, the digital music industry, that way. All right. So um, have you ever, you know, made a business decision that you've had to back up from? I mean, I've made a lot, man. This is Nigeria. So, you know, <laughs> we all make decisions every day in business that, you know, that we have to reverse from. But... <laughs> I mean, you know, okay, as, as, as a CEO, like, in, you know, being CEO of, or, or, or I guess one, one, one decision I can remember, um, actually, I wasn't CEO then, I was a partner, I was like a co-CEO, like a co-founder. I can talk about another thing outside of music, right? Mm -hmm. Nightclub investment, oh, like okay. years ago. And, um, you know, got involved in it with some friends, thought it was a fantastic idea. You know, as in like music industry was really, was, 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 was picking up. You know, people love Nigerian music. You know, we love to party, we love to revel, we love to dance, we love to drink. So, you know, nightclub business just seemed like the right thing to do. Mm. And um, lo and behold, um, you know, crash. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, I learned a lot. So I won't like to say anything about regret. Mm. I would like to, you know, I always look at it more like a learning experience. And I learned okay. a lot from that situation. So looking back now and uh still talking regrets or no regrets. Um, is there that one mistake um, you made in business uh, that cost you quite a lot? I don't think so. I really don't think so. I don't think I've done anything that cost me, you know, enough for me to literally say, okay, I'm down, I'm out, I can't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. um, I think that every CEO makes mistakes. And I think one thing I learned is you need to move quickly break some things and that's how you kind of like learn. All right, so from all you've said so far, I see you're constantly switching gears uh, <laughs> between <laughs> this business and that business yeah, and yeah. juggling quite a yeah, lot. Man, how how, yeah, do, you, how do you do that? Um, 
I mean, realistically, I, I, I read a lot. I, you know, as in like, when you say do that, like, like in terms of schedule, yeah. or in terms of, I just, just, you know, I organize my day. I, my watch word, right? People call me Magic Mike, right? That's one nickname I have, Magic Mike. And my Instagram name is Magic Mike type thing, right? Not the stripper, by the way, like everyone <laughs> seems to think. You know, and I think that one thing I always say is that it's not actually magic. You know, I don't do magic. I'm not Merlin. You know, there's nothing I do that you can't do. But I think the thing about what I do and I like to do a lot of is execute. And I think it's in that execution, getting things done, right, that the magic now comes out. Okay. Right. So I think that for me, whenever I'm moving from one thing to another thing to another thing, my core focus all the time is execution. All right. So tell me, um, how do you pull off? Whew, I mean, it's a, it's a hot day today, so it's <laughs> hard to cool off on, on a day like this. But, um, you know, usually I, I hang out with my daughter, we go swimming. Um, you know, definitely I love to swim. Um, I travel a lot. Um, I'm in Paris in a couple of weeks, you know, planning for my for my wedding actually coming wow, up. Wow, congratulations, and Thank you man. very much. Thank you very much, Carp in June. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I definitely travel a lot. Okay. So what's your favorite um, jam? Right now, um, <laughs> right now I'm feeling, I'm still on Ye, Burner Boy. I definitely think that's <laughs> my jam right now. Um, you know, definitely shout out to Burner Boy, you know, Aristocrat Records, you know, shout out to all the guys that are doing all that hard work. But yeah, Burner Boy is doing some great things, huge talent, um, mm. you know, he's doing really, really good. Um, obviously, but my favorite, that's my favorite track, but my favorite artist, you know, David O. Definitely, you know, we're talking about contemporary mm -hmm. artists. Okay. Um, David O is my guy. All right, so lastly, I'd like to um, know, Mike, what drives your ambition? Um, you know, I, th I, th I think the thing is, my legacy. Legacy is so important to me. Um, a legacy thing for me would be like, okay, my kids can say, oh yeah, my, my dad did this, he really tried you know, to make a change, he really, you know, developed or was part of the, that wave that really developed the African music industry, the African creative industry, creative sector. Um, so, you know, definitely my legacy is super important to me. Thank you for riding with me, Mike. It's been all good, man. All Thank right. You. Cheers. Nice one. Have a great day. Yeah, man. Thanks, bro. Massilia Motors, sole distributors of Mitsubishi Motors in Nigeria.